Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In class number 14 of learning next years, we are going to learn parallel routing. What is parallel routing? What is the use of at the rate symbol in parallel routings and how you can create your own parallel routes application in next years that we are going to understand. Now first question is what is parallel routes? So we go to the documentation of next years and you see that parallel routing means allowing simultaneously render one or more page in same layout means if you open one or more pages in a single layout that is called parallel routing by default in a layout we have a single page but if more than one page we render within a same layout that we call parallel routes with the help of these parallel routes we can also achieve streaming in previous videos i have explained what is the streaming in a cell i can revise you again that in streaming we divide a large component into small components and all components we render together with the help of loading effect here we can also achieve loading and some other effect also but main concentration is on parallel routing so in parallel routing you can see in documentation that if you load more than one page in a single layout that is called parallel routing so how we can do that that we are going to understand for creating a parallel routes you see that we need at the rate symbol and with this at the rate symbol we have to assign in front of the folder so with the help of this we can define number of pages within this folder and those pages will work under the same layout so how we implement this you see the practical implementation so we go to the vs code and here i create one more folder under the app means i create one more routes under a app and i say p routes p routes means parallel routes for example so that route is created under this i create a page dot js and here i say r a f c e so this is a page so here i display by using h2 that i say home page of parallel routes it's a simple one just to understand the concept so it's a first page and by default you know that that page is comes under the layout so we create layout also under this so i say layout dot jsx or jx whatever you want under this layout i say rafce and here i display children and i display that children here and I say this is a normal layout mechanism remember by default for the routing we use this kind of things we have a one page we have a layout to display this page so we have a routes here so I go to navigation here navbar under this navbar I try to create more navigation services so I copy this and I paste this and I create P routes also here P routes and it will come slash P routes like this and I save this and you will see in the output if you go here we have a P routes here and I click here and you will see that home page of parallel routes remember so it's a normal routing in previous video I have explained about page.js files about layout files and how layouts work to display this page I have explained each and everything here I am going to explain you again that it is a normal process that we have a routes like we have a P routes here under this P routes we have a pages we have a layout so this is a normal process nothing is special in it now we are going to implement parallel routing for parallel routing we create a folder inside this and I say here at the rate left remember that I am creating a folder named left and as a prefix I am using a at the rate symbol for creating a routes so you see that I create a folder here at the rate left remember that for creating a parallel routes I create a folder left but as a prefix I insert here the at the rate symbol inside this 
I insert page dot js. Remember that one more dot jsx one page r a f c e and here I say it is my left part of parallel routing. So I say h2 and I say it is left page of parallel routing parallel routes like this. So one is achieved. Now again I click on p routes. I create on folder. Again I give the right. You can give any name to these folder. I am just for example to understand the concept. I am just giving a left right. Under this folder again I can create page.js file. Remember then rafce and under this again I display or paste the same data and I say it is right page. Remember and I save this and you see that by default there is no change in this routes you see no change at by default it displaying only the one page remember what one what page this page page.js home page of parallel routes by default with the layout is merge and that's why layout is displaying only the children so this is a normal concept now we have created parallel routes means we have implemented the use of at the rate symbol now you see the question number one we have clear what is parallel routes parallel routes means to allow to spontaneously render more than one pages within a same layout that is called parallel routes means in a single layout if we open multiple pages from a same routes it's called parallel routes now what is the use of at the rate symbol at the rate symbol is used to define parallel routes directory so we used to we use at the rate symbol for that how to create parallel routes that is going on and i have explained you that you create a folder under this we have a page.jsx under again we created one more parallel routes at the rate right and we have one more page under this page.jsx that means in this p routes directory we have two parallel routes one default route and under this left or right we have a separate pages but these separate pages is not coming by default here we have to make the coding for that so i go to layout file and here i say like children is coming we have left and right also that is coming within a layout remember that so this layout like a children children is a by default if you we, we are if we are not creating any routes then by default routes name is parallel routes name is children but left and right i am creating is not a default so we have to give here left and right and now we can decide how to display these left and right for that i make some coding and i decide to display this so i say under a dev i display first of all children like that then again i take more to shortcut to copy paste and i say left here left children and then i display right children remember that if i paste this and you will see the data all together you see i display this and you see by default it is not coming why because physically we have created a directory and it is the file system based app routing so i have to close this application here and once again i have to restart this application then it will take because physically it creating this this directory and it not refreshing by default so you will see that after restarting if i will refresh it you will see the parallel routes example you see after restart we have the home page left page right page remember that now we are implementing parallel routing here and remember that without a restart we are not getting a effect why because in a running application i created this directory and this directory is a file system based app routing here in nextjs so directory has been created but this directory is not implemented in the memory so we have to restart this application that's why it took the updated directory which we have created and you see we have a home page left page and right page now we can modify some css we can implement here so I say class name and here I say container and under the container here I say style and I give here a style that I say height of this is I say 80 vh remember that I am giving a height to 80 vh 
try to implement this here you see high time changing at t uh, vh and i give some height to this also i say class name and here i say uh, that uh, vh to 50% and uh, here also i say class name uh, i say vh to 50% here also i give class name and vh to 50% save that and try to see the result is not reflecting so now what i do i can say height also i think yeah height is working remember that so we are providing left and right concept here and uh, i want to display it in a six column so i say call six i want to give to this also the remaining call six i want to give to this also and i want to display it under a call 12 I am using bootstrap concepts. So here I refresh it. So first of all, I give here it is not coming on that concept. So I say five column again five column and save this. So I okay this is coming because I am not using flex here. So what I do, uh, I take. Uh, one more remember i put six here no problem and i create one more dev tag here it's just a one kind of representation of your layout nothing special i'm trying to show that in routing in parallel routing we can design the layout of this here, here i say class name so i want to uh, print this from left side and this is from the right side for that i'm implementing here deflex so i say uh, d flex d flex and i say that is h 50 to this one and uh, i say call uh, 12 it will implement save this and you will see that they are coming in a single line now i can give background also and i can give uh, uh, some height also so i give here height 100 percent here also 100% because under this it should be 100% and I give some background so I say BG uh, I say BG warning here and uh, under this I, G, I said BG uh, danger and here I say BG success save this try to give the background you see we have a background color now we are dividing this and we can put the content to the center of the screen uh, for that i say here justify content i say justify content center and align items to the center save this i copy this one and i paste same here also save this and you will see that it is also coming in the center it, it is not coming in a center because i have to use deflex also like this i say deflex like this save this and you see it is coming in center and it is not because its size is bigger than this that's why it's coming like that and upper one is also not coming in a center so here also i put deflex save this and you will see that it is also coming in the center so each and everything is coming in a center and now you can see that this is a default page children one this is a left left parallel routes it's a right parallel routes so you can see this example that we are designing a layout and we have one page by default page with children and the routes which i created at the rate left is coming here at the rate right is coming here and we can display whenever we want and we can also implement loading effect here we can also make it streaming also so what is loading what is streaming i have explained in my previous videos in a same playlist you can watch those videos also if you have not watched so far and remember that it's a very very simple concept to implement parallel routing just create your folder with at the rate and put your file under this and you can create nested routing also under this it depend on you what you want 
so in this video i have explained what is parallel routing and what is the use of at the rate to create your parallel routes in folder to create your parallel routes folders and how to create parallel routes in nextjs i have explained in practical way and i also design the layouts just to give some bootstraps effect like this we have divide the screen so this is not only the way to design it just to make you understand that whatever you want whatever the size you define for your layout you can use those component and those pages on that particular part of your screen that i have explained here so that is all about parallel routing and next video we see what is modal remember that modal is not a simple concept in uh, nextjs in react it's very easy to create a modal but for creating a modal in nextjs is not an easy concept and on the basis of modals we have the concept of intercepting of routes so both we will see in a next in next video we will see modals and after that modals video we will see intercepting of routes also because intercepting of routes is also depend on modals so uh, that's all in this video if you learn something and if you understand the concept of parallel routing from this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video Thank you.